Here we see a typical layout of the electrical submersible centrifugal pump system, beginning at the surface with a bank of transformers, which convert the primary line voltage available from the outside to the voltage required by our system. The power line is then directed to a switchboard, which provides, as a minimum, overload protection, and in more complex operations, amperage recording, under an overload protection, instrumentation for pump timing, and automatic remote control operations. The next element in our system is the junction box. It provides a point of connection between the power cable from the switchboard and the power cable from the well. In addition, it provides a vent to the atmosphere for any gas that may have migrated from the well up the power cable. In essence, then, it prevents any gases from migrating through the power cable into the switchboard. The power cable from the junction box then passes through the wellhead and down the well bore. It is clamped or banded at a number of points to the tubing for protection. The pump itself is suspended from the bottom of the tubing at some point above the perforations. At the lower part of the pump is the electric motor. The cable from the surface is connected to the electric motor through the pothead. Above the motor is the protector, a component whose primary purpose is to isolate the motor from the well fluids. Above the protector is the fluid intake section and possibly a gas separator. The purpose of the gas separator is to cause any produced gas to be directed up the annulus and not into the pump. Above the intake is the pump itself, normally a multi-stage centrifugal pump. 